Hi guys, in this short guide we're going to study the rules for deciding the significant figures in a number, the rules for arithmetic operations, and the rules for rounding off numbers. Let's get started. A significant figure is a figure that is known with some degree of reliability. As simple as that. Let's start with the rules for the number of significant figures in a measured quantity. The first rule is that all non-zero digits are significant. For instance, 1.634 has four significant digits. Another example is the number 985. This one has three significant figures. And lastly, the number 2136 has four significant figures. I hope this makes sense. The next rule is that zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Let me show you some examples. The number 4309 has four significant digits because all the digits are significant. The number 2023 has also four significant figures. Again, the zero here counts as a significant digit. And lastly, the number 8001 has also four significant digits. The next rule is a bit more interesting. The third rule states that zeros to the left of the first non-zero digits are not significant. This will make more sense with a few examples. For instance, the number 0 0.001 has only one significant figure. Let me highlight that figure. The only significant figure is the number 1. All these zeros are not significant. Let's do another one. 0 0.0012 has two significant figures. The only significant figures in this number are 1 and 2. The first zeros are non-significant. And lastly, the number 0 0.008314 has four significant figures. Once again, only the numbers 8, 3, 1 and 4 are significant. The first zeros are not significant. To make it a bit more clear, I'm going to circle the first non-zero digit in all examples. Here is the 1, here is also a 1, and here is an 8. I want to be clear with this rule. The zeros in all these three examples merely indicate the position of the decimal point. That's why they are not significant. Let's continue. The next rule says that zeros to the right of a decimal point in a number are significant. Let me show you some examples. 0 0.023 has only two significant digits. Another example can be 0 0.200 has three significant figures. And lastly, for instance, 0 0.00560 has four significant figures. I'm going to underline each significant figure. Here I have two, here I have one, two, three, and here I have one, two, three, four. I hope this rule makes sense. The last rule is, when a number ends in zeros that are not to the right of a decimal point, the zeros are not necessarily significant. In these cases we need to use scientific notation. The number 40,600 can have 3, 4, 5 significant figures depending on how we write it. There is some ambiguity in this rule, but it can be avoided. Let me show you. If I write this number as 
point zero six times ten to the four this number now has three significant figures but I can also write it as four point zero six zero times ten to the four and this time I have four significant figures and also I can write it as four point zero six zero zero times ten to the four and this time now I have five significant figures and to be clear these significant figures are these three for the first number are these four for the second number and are these five for the second number the exponent part does not count as significant figures the next set of rules are those for arithmetic operations the general rule is the accuracy of a calculated result is limited by the least accurate measurement involved in the calculation addition and subtraction do the operation as usual round to the same figures as the number with the fewest figures to the right of the decimal point let's start with an example of addition if I want to add 100 plus 23.6 I'll do the addition as always 6 plus 0 6 3 plus 0 3 the point in here goes down in here 2 plus 0 2 and 0 plus 1 1 now I'm going to round to the same figures as the number with the fewest figures to the right of the decimal point so which one has fewest digits well 100 has 0 has nothing in here after the decimal point because it actually has no decimal point but 23.6 has 1 so I have 0 in here and I have one number in here so I'm going to round to zero digits after the decimal point so this six will be rounded and my final answer with significant digits is 124 now let's do a subtraction example I'm going to subtract 23.6 minus 1.2 6 minus 2 is 4 3 minus 1 is 2 2 minus 0 is 2 and the decimal point goes down in here now let's decide which has the fewest digits after the decimal this one has 1 and this one has also 1 digit after the decimal point that means my answer is 22.4 because this one has already one digit after the decimal point one digit here I have zero just to make it clear let me show you another example 12.2 plus 8.80 I'm going to add them as usual zero plus zero in here it's zero 8 plus 2 in here is 10 so 0 in here and I carry out that 1 up here 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 it's 11 1 in here and I carry out the 1 in here and 1 plus 1 2 so 21 now the point in here goes down now let's round to the same figures as the number with the fewest figures so this one has one digit after the decimal point and this one has 1, 2 therefore the least accurate number is the first one that means my answer should also have just one digit after the decimal point so I'm going to cancel out this 0 and my answer with significant figures is 21.0 note that it's not 21.00 but 21.0 in the case of multiplication and division the rule is quite easy to remember do the operation as usual then round to the same figures as the number with the fewest significant figures let's do a few examples 
first one is 6 times 3.5 6 times 5 is equal 30 so 0 and I get a 3 in here then 6 times 3 is 18 so 8 and 1 I'm going to add them 0, 11 and 2 now I have one place in the decimal point so it goes in here and lastly I'm going to round to the same figures as the number with the fewest significant figures in this case I have two numbers I have 6 and 3.5 this one has one significant figure and this one has two significant figures so I'm going to round this number to just one significant figure so first I cancel out anything after the decimal point and I get 21 and now I'm going to round this one and it will become a zero so the result is 20 let me show you another example now let's do a division 300 divided by 15 15 times 2 is equal 30 so 30 minus 30 is equal 0 and this 0 from here goes down 15 times 0 is 0 so that's it now to decide the number of significant figures I'm going to look at my two numbers this one has one significant figure and this one has two one significant figure and two significant figures therefore my answer will be the one with just one significant figure so this 20 has already one significant figure so this is my final answer one significant figure the rules surrounding of numbers can be summarized as if the digit to be dropped is greater than 5 the last retained digit is increased by 1 otherwise is left as it is let me show you a few examples let's round to two significant figures the following numbers 37.6 I'm going to round this 6 and since it is greater than 5 then I'm going to cancel it out and add 1 to the previous number so this number in just two significant digits is 38 let's do 945 again I just want two significant figures so this time this 5 will be cancelled out as a 0 but since it's greater than 5 I'm going to add 1 to the previous number so this one will become 950 lastly 112 again I'm going to cancel out this 2 it will become a 0 this one is less than 5 so I'm going to leave this one as it is so 112 is rounded to 110 and that's it those were the basic rules for rounding of numbers maybe in another video I'm going to cover the rules for significant figures when using scientific notation but that will be for another time thanks for watching, see you